Hey guys, I'm Jackie and welcome back to Jackie Naturals. I hope you all are having an awesome day. So if you haven't noticed by the title of this video, guys, I am super duper excited. The day has finally come. I finally received my boxy premium and yes guys you do see correctly that does say boxy charm times fenty this was a, what i would call a takeover and they have six products in here all fenty beauty guys i have been wanting to try fenty since she launched i just get so many subscription boxes i could not justify going out and buying products but now I don't have to, I'm so happy, oh my God, okay. So this is the card just to show you guys up close what it looks like, and I don't think there's a variation because I think pretty much everyone got the same thing, there was just different colors, but I'm gonna put the box down. And for those of you who don't know, BoxyCharm Premium is $35 per month, you get six to seven full-size products, plus you get to customize one. It's normally valued at over $175. It is just absolutely amazing. I love Boxy Premium, it is my favorite. And guys, this is why. I mean, really, Fenty, Fenty. Yes, Fenty, I'm so excited. Oh my God, I just can't hold back. Okay, so this is a card with all the products, but spoiler, I am wearing everything in the box except one thing, you can't wear that product but I am wearing everything on my face, guys. That's how excited I was. I was a little intimidated by some of this stuff and I'll explain later, but I just had to put it all on. I had to try every single product that came in the box. So it is all on my face right now and I will show you guys some more a little bit, but let's get right into this box. So the first thing we're gonna start with is the blotting sheets. And this is Invisimat blotting paper. This retails for $16 and most people know what blotting paper is. I do blot a few times a day, guys. I get oily, so I don't have a choice. I have to blot. So this is it, and it is so cute. Look at it, and it has its own container. And I have to open this with you guys on camera. That's just how excited I am. We're gonna hope I can put it together in front of you guys. That would be bad. And look, it has a little Fenty Beauty sticker. Oh, how cute is that? And it has a little mirror on it, and I don't wanna blind you guys. And then you just, I guess, open it. Hold on, let's see. Okay, you just open it there and put it right in there. Oh my God, that's so cute. Let's see, we're gonna try this out on camera since we're trying everything else out. Let's see if I can get this off because me and paper and opening stuff just don't work. Oh my God, I'm a little sad. Okay, I opened it. Look at what I did, guys. Oh my gosh, okay. So we're gonna just try to put it. I'll try to cut it off. Let's see how it works. So I guess you just put it like in here and I didn't read any directions. I'm just winging it. I just wanna get through this. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so here's a piece of it. We're just gonna use this blotting paper because I don't wanna waste it. So I'm gonna just blot because I do get oily. Let's see if anything comes off. Do you guys see a difference? Just blotting. And this is it here. You see how my oils are? Like there is already oils because before it's like this color and then this is with my oils. And you can see some of my foundation came off but I'm gonna just keep blotting because your girl is oily and these lights do not help. <laughs> so I'm just blotting all my oils away. And it's so weird, like I get really oily up in here and right by my eyebrows. My eyebrows get oily, my eyelids. I tell you guys that, it's so funny, but yes. Okay, so that is nice, but you do see my foundation on there. I don't think that's a reflection on the product. I love her packaging, guys. It's just so pretty. You get a little mirror, yes, I can see what I'm doing to blot and it has a little cutter. I love this, this is super cool. So I am super happy about this. So guys, that was the only product I had not tried. I figured I'd do that on camera with you guys. So now we're gonna get into all the other products that I do definitely have on my face, some way, shape, or form. So we're gonna start with this here and it is the Fenty Beauty Match Sticks Shimmer Skin Stick. This retails for $25 and I have the color blonde. And I wanna show you guys, guys, look at this packaging. Now, for those of you who don't know, if we would've got another one, these things are magnetic. They're super cool, that is so cool, but look at that. I got this really gold looking color. I'm gonna just swatch it right here. 
So this did, I find, really didn't do all that much. Now I was scared to put it on my face. I didn't wanna mess up my makeup all day, but there it is there and we're gonna try it together and see what happens. But let's see what it says you could do with this because I didn't read the directions I was gonna do it with you guys, but I did try this. It says this magnetized makeup stick is a long wear, light as air, shimmer formula to highlight, blush, and enhance. Oh, that's so funny. Blush, blush with this? Somebody would use that as blush? I, I mean, I guess. I wouldn't but it says this long wear cream to powder highlighter stick is weightless blendable and lives to be layered what i did with this first is i actually started taking my finger and i rubbed it on there and i didn't get that much maybe because i needed to just rub it here on my skin first to get that top layer off i am getting a little bit more than i was but you see how it doesn't look as vibrant as it does on my arm but then i just patted it in just to see if it would do anything and i was scared to do that but i'm gonna just put it right here See, I was scared because I have oily skin. I don't like cream products, but guys, it's Fenty. I had to try it. So let's see. So I did do it here. I, like I said, I did not rub it on my skin. And actually, that doesn't look bad. What do you think? You tell me. Comment down below what it looks like to you. It actually doesn't look bad at all. I think I might actually like this to highlight when I want a gold highlight. So this is nice. Let's see how much products we got. Oh, that's a nice amount of product. Okay, well, well it's $25. That's not that much, but I got a feeling this will last quite a while. It is very pretty, like you can see. I would have to tone this down because I don't like my highlight that bright. Maybe on the weekend, but yeah, not for work. That's a little bit too much. So I did use it there, and then I also tried to put it in the center of my lips, and that didn't work out because it wasn't really showing up with this color which is the Fenty lipstick, yes it is. But I did layer on some stuff with it so it may look a little different. But this is nice, I am happy about this. I thought it was weird at first. I'm like, how am I gonna use this? But it worked out. And again, love the packaging. Yes, Fenty, yes, 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 I love the packaging. The next product is this here and it's the Mademoiselle Plush Matte Lipstick. And this retails for $18. I have the color PMS. And guys, this bad boy is dark. I'm not even gonna front when I first saw that. I'm like, ooh, Jesus dark. So let me just show you guys. This is the packaging. It says Fenty Beauty. Again, beautiful. I have fingerprints on it. I did take it to work because I did wear it. Now she did have the FB in there. Again, I wore it, so it's not there. And I didn't take a picture this morning, but that is it there. And I'm gonna swatch it for you guys, like right up here as well. So let's swatch it together. So that is it. It is a really dark chocolate color, really, really dark. So I put this on and I will say it was hard to kind of line my lips with this. So I would probably put on a liner first and then do this because it was kind of hard. Even though this has pointier shapes, I did find it a little hard, especially in the corners. And this is actually not very matte to me at all. However, I'm not the best judge because I did put on the other products on top of it. So next product is this here and it is the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter. It retails for $36 and guys, when they say Kilowatt, they mean it. Now, it did come in this really nice packaging. I took it out, like I said, I used it this morning. Again, this is like a pinky pearlescent, like I don't think the light is capturing it, but it is so, pretty like her packaging is stellar now i do find this a little hard to open it's probably me but it has a nice size mirror i'm gonna just cover it up here and look at the fb in there but guys this is blind it really looks this yellow gold it really really does and i'm gonna swatch it too i didn't want to touch the fb so i've been going like on the side and look at that how quickly that came out and i'm gonna put it right here so you can see the comparison like that thing is glitter shimmer but it is so pretty this would be a beautiful eyeshadow and i was going to use it like that but i did want to use the other product in here so i didn't but it is so pretty so this is it here now i want to show you guys i'm going to put a little bit and i'm going to start looking crazy in a minute because i do not go this crazy with my highlighter but what i did was and i'm going to use this finger right here and i'm just going to dab it like i did earlier this morning and i got that little bit now look at what i did Now, you see that? Guys, that is way too much for me. That, I was like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? I have to start powdering my face and then I use Beauty my Blender to try to blend it out because I'm like, that is too much. Like, I'm going to work. I can't go through all that. And like I said, all I did was use that little dab that I used and it did that. Like, it's a lot. Let me show you on this side as well. Like, let me just show you, okay? So this side has nothing. Look at it before. It did have some of this because I put it on earlier, but just to put more, look at that. 
even on my skin tone it is a lot that is a lot that is a lot okay so I did also put it here and then I put it a little bit on the tip and then on my cupid's bow and I had to try to blend it out with my beauty blender because it was so blinding it really is this is the most blinding highlighter I've ever tried and I was scared to try it I was gonna put it in the giveaway but I had to try it and by the way guys this is trophy wife this is one of the ones that she's known for but this is kind of tough like I would probably end up using this for highlighter or when I'm really doing something fancy and I want to go all out maybe I'll use this but it would probably have to be at nighttime because this is just too much too much in the daytime when the light reflects on it too much for me for me personally if you love this do you boo but for me it's a little bit much <laughs> but i really like it so what i decided to do with this is i actually put a little bit on my finger and i pressed it into my lips and i didn't want to mess up my lip but we're going to do it anyway so here it is right here and i'm going to press it in So you see how it just gave it that shimmer look? So that's why if you've seen other videos, everyone's lips looks dark, but mine has like a tint, gold, shimmer, greenish looking. That's why I put this in the center on top of it. I like doing that with my highlighters or sometimes with my eyeshadows. If I don't want to use them for that, I could use it to just give it like a little shimmer. It makes your lips look a little bigger. So I love doing that. So I did that and I really like how it came out and it lightened up the color a little bit because it was a lot for me. It was a lot. It is very, very pretty and I'm so glad I found a way to use it. I'm definitely trying this thing as eyeshadow because you know I love my eyeshadow, but this is really nice. Now after that, I had to go in with the Gloss Bomb and it's a Universal Lip Illuminizer. This retails for $19. And this is what it actually looks like. And again, her packaging, stellar. Sorry about all my fingerprints. I've been using it all day. But this is it right here. I thought it was going to be like kind of sticky. It wasn't. Everyone said that. And it's true. It looks a little sticky, but I'm going to just put it like right here. So there it is right there. And see, I just gave it like a little shimmer, like a little shine, little shimmer. And I put that on the center. I don't want to mess it up, but I kind of use it on my finger. And I can do it like this, actually. So I just kind of put it in the center right on top of that. Just so it didn't look so green-esque. <laughs> and it came out so nice. Like I really love this. And it's not sticky. It's very comfortable. Now, did it fade off? Yes, but I, it's probably because you put a gloss. You know, when you put a gloss on top of things, they don't stay. But I really like how it came out. You comment down below what you think of the lip combo. So on my lips, I layered the lipstick first then the trophy wife highlighter and then the gloss bomb so let me know what you guys think but i like it i think it worked out now this dark lippy oh gosh i gotta be in a mood normally i don't wear lippies that dark but it i do like it i like the formula i would like to try it in a different color but that is really pretty dark really really dark so that's what it would look like so i had to lighten it up a little bit maybe if i did a lighter eye look or a brighter eye look it wouldn't be so bad but because i went for like a darker look that's why I'm like, that might be too much. And that being said, that leads me into the last product, guys. And it's this bad boy here. Now, we have to stop and appreciate this beautiful blue. I love blue, guys. My favorite color. This is like a royal blue, but it has like a shimmer. It is so, so pretty. And this is the Moroccan Spice Eyeshadow Palette. And it retails for $29. It says Moroccan Spice has 16 richly pigmented shades, serving up a dash of matte, satin, pearl, metallic, and shimmer finishes. Now, if anything I can give Fenty, it's the packaging is stellar a plus 100 percent look at this palette again i got fingerprints on it now i did looking at everyone else's think that it was going to be a little thick like if you see my finger i thought it was going to be thicker than that <laughs> it's not but it's so pretty and it's just such good quality like you can hear like it clicks i mean it's just so nice it has a nice size mirror and i'm going to try to hide that and what i'm going to use is the card to try to hide that so we don't go blind but look at those colors oh my gosh now when i first saw it it wasn't calling me that much of course you guys know that blue right there i was all over it i'm like i have to incorporate that somehow but i knew i had to use this dark lippy so i didn't want to use that color and this for work it would have been too much so i actually used pretty much the only colors i didn't touch was these one two three here now i did have to go into another palette because i have been having issues with my eyeshadow i have to set it and it didn't have a color to set and i didn't want to use this one because it has like a shimmer in it if you guys can see that yeah you can kind of see that 
that must be one of the shimmers so I didn't want to use that one so I did go into the other boxy charm the actual boxy charm palette and I have it right here so I did go into this palette and all I used was like the white and then this light color here just to set my concealer because I have to or my eyeshadow will not last lately I don't know what's going on but that's neither here nor there it's not what this is about but this lasted now it did fade a little bit on this eye I'm not gonna blame it on the product so it has been 13 hours of wearing this and look at how good it looks it lasted so well it did not fade and I used these two on the bottom lash line so let me get up close so you can still see it right there that that blue right on there so it's still there so I really do like this palette now I'm gonna be honest would I buy it or would I recommend you buy it like I like Fenty I'm so excited I got it don't get me wrong I love the colors they are pretty but for $29, you can't beat it. Just to support Fenty, to be honest, because I'm just like so dumbfounded right now. But I did find that I did have to build it up. That's one. I did have to build it up. And like the pigment wasn't that strong on them. Like I wish they were a little more bam in your face. Like the highlighter. The highlighter was bam in your face. Like you can't like pow, bam, poo, pow, okay? <laughs> I know it's a lot, but I gotta stress that. That highlighter is no joke. It's not for the faint of hearts. And I would never probably buy it because it's too bright for me. But you did have to build it up. And I'm going to be honest, I found that it did not blend that well. There was one of the colors that I found to be a little gritty. Was it this red? I'm not sure if it's this color. And also it would have been nice if they put the colors, but they have them on the back. I guess this is saffron. It wasn't that one. There was one color I felt that felt a little rough. I don't know which one that was. Hold on. Okay, so I can't find which one it was, but I'm just going to swatch these for you real quick so you can see them. And now I'm not good with swatches, so don't hold me to that. And I know they look faint, and I probably did terrible swatches. But yeah, so let me see. Let me see if I can redo this. So my favorite color in this palette is definitely this one here. And this is what it looks like. So pretty. Definitely up my alley with this blue. And there it is there. It's very nice, very pigmented. This is also very pretty too. It was calling me. And let's swatch this here. I did swatch some of the other colors, but yeah. So those were my two favorite from this palette because they were bright. I haven't used, like I said, these three in here. I used everything else. So they are nice. Like I said, they did not blend too easy. Like I feel like it did not blend well. You can see kind of the demarcation, but I didn't have another color to blend. I tried to blend these two together and it didn't really work out. So they're not the easiest to blend. This is not honestly a beginner friendly palette to me. If you're a beginner, you might not want to work with this. It was a lot of work. I woke up early, ended up leaving home late trying to get this eye look together. Yes, I know it's filming, so I went above and beyond a little bit, but that was, it's just, it took a lot of work. It took a lot of work. So I am so excited though. I still love it. I'll still use it. I'm so glad Boxy did this. Thank you, Boxy. I'm so so happy guys I cannot stress it how happy I am and my mom said my makeup this morning she FaceTimed me and she's like oh my god it looks so pretty but yes this is what it's looking like after 13 hours plus okay and of course it's just a highlighter that beaming highlighter everything on my lips and the eyeshadow but I love it so you gotta let me know what you think comment down below I'm sorry your girl is just excited I'm so excited I finally tried Fenty I really wanted the banana powder they didn't have that in the box but you know beggars can't be choosers and the total value of this box is 143 now I will say the value is supposed to be over 175 but they definitely get a pass from me. Some people might be mad at that. I'm not. I am super duper excited to try Fenty. We got six products. You can't beat it. It's just a win. It's an all around win. It, like I said, it's just, I'm just so flabbergasted. It's just awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to Boxy. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm super duper happy. I love my box this month. Boxy killed it. Okay. Between my Boxy Lux and this box, Boxy did their thing this month. I'm not sure if the Boxy Lux is up already. If it is, I will link it down below. But guys, they killed it. They really nailed it on the head. Thank you, Boxy. A plus. That was definitely between both boxes because the Lux was 50. This was 35. It was $85. But you know what? It's my birthday month. It's about me. So it's a present for me and I get to try Fenty. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. I'm being corny now. So I'm going to go. <laughs> you stop my excitement. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, 
seeing me all excited like a little kid at a candy store, give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe down below and press that bell button so you're notified of any future videos, guys. And I will definitely see you in my next one. Yay! Bye!